Hi there, I'm Columbia Schaefer, the Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admission with California College of the Arts. I'm here today to share a little bit about what makes CCA a unique institution. California College of the Arts was founded in 1907 in Oakland, California, and we've since expanded to two campuses, still our historic campus in Oakland, as well as the San Francisco campus. California College of the Arts has 22 undergraduate majors as well as 11 graduate programs. You can see here that the majors range across a full spectrum of visual art, design, and writing. Some of our most popular programs include animation, which is the largest program at CCA, a five-year B Arch in architecture, painting and drawing, industrial design, and a couple of new offerings like game arts and comics. At CCA, we believe a hands-on education is really important, and so for all of our incoming students, we have you take a first year or foundational core program where you get a chance to explore all the different offerings at CCA. The studio classes that every first year student will take include an intro drawing class, a 2D design class, a 3D design class, and a 4D or time-based design class. So by taking all four of those classes, as well as an intro college writing class, art history, philosophy and critical studies, you're able to really understand the art world that you're making within and find connections between different disciplines. It's also a really fun way to get to know all the different studios on campus and explore modes of making that maybe you haven't had access to make before. We're also the only art college in the United States that requires students to take a critical ethnic studies class. We firmly believe that it's important to know how you're making is in interaction with the cultures and communities around you. So by requiring students to take critical ethnic studies, we hope that you begin to make connections between your own personal artistic practice and the community outside of the doors of CCA. Through our critical ethnic studies classes, through the first year program, we're hoping to provide an interdisciplinary arts education to all of our students. And that sense of interdisciplinarity comes through our classes. So you can see here a couple of different examples of interdisciplinary coursework. Things like biodesign, world building, thinking about how to combine writing, literature, illustration, animation, all in one class that gets to the sense of how to develop a world for your creative practice. That's a pretty cool kind of class to be able to take. Let's talk a little bit about campus life at CCA. CCA is a small campus and a very close-knit community. There's about 2,000 students total, about 1,500 are undergraduate students, and about 500 are graduate students. There's lots of small classes at CCA. Our average class size is 13, and we've got an eight to one student to faculty ratio. So you really get a chance to know your professors. And the best part is 95% of CCA faculty are working professionals. So the folks teaching your animation class are animators. The people teaching architecture are architects. So they're able to really bring in that professional practice, help you get networked into the greater Bay Area arts community. The other great thing about being on our small close-knit campus is all of the studio access. We have over 60 different studios and labs and galleries, which are open to all students regardless of major. So as you take classes, we want you to explore these different ways of making and getting back to that idea of interdisciplinarity, make connections between different classes, different studios, and work with your peers in that close-knit community. The CCA campus also is home to a number of student clubs and organizations. Um, there's you know, typically around 20 different clubs, depending on what students are interested in any given year. So there might be um, you know, a bird watching club one year, a disc throwing club. There's lots of different options of those you know, clubs where you can make friends, get to know people. There's also a lot of clubs on campus that are affinity groups, things like the Black Student Alliance, Trans Agenda, CCA India, where students are able to find and create community. CCA is a residential campus, and all of our first and second year students are required to live on campus. Just last year, we opened up a brand new residence hall, Founders Hall, which is right across the street from our main San Francisco campus. This makes your commute as a student the easiest thing. You just wake up, roll out of bed, walk across the street, and you can go to classes or the studio. 
It also means that the dining hall is just downstairs and the first year studios are right next door. So everything you need within your CCA experience right there in one location, which is another way that we're really able to promote community on our campus. The location of Founders Hall right across the street from our San Francisco campus also means you're living right in the heart of the design district in San Francisco. And being in the heart of San Francisco is another thing that's essential to the CCA experience. Living right there amongst art galleries, museums, design firms means the creative community of the Greater Bay Area is right at your fingertips. Being in the middle of the San Francisco creative community isn't just great for your own life as an artist, exploring galleries, you know, attending events, but it also means there's a lot of career connections and opportunities available to you. Many CCA classes actively work to get you out in the community, engaging with programs, with businesses, with industry right around you. One great example of this is the interior design partnership with Autodesk. Autodesk is right here in San Francisco, and they have some phenomenal, really cutting edge digital fabrication labs. And our students in interior design courses have made a partnership with Autodesk where they've gone to the digital design labs and they've actually started exploring new ways to make material. So not just thinking about what materials already exist and how they can be applied to interior design, but thinking about 3D printing new flexible materials that are also strong that could be used in interior application. Another great example is through the mural painting class in our painting and drawing program. Recently, they partnered with the Children's Creativity Museum here in San Francisco and actually installed a mural on the interior staircase of the museum. So as patrons move through the different floors, they're able to see the beautiful mural made by CCA students. Ceramic students and faculty have been partnering with a local conservation organization over the last few years to think about ways that ceramics can help with environmental conservation. So you can see these super cute birds right here live on um, islands right here in the San Francisco Bay. But unfortunately, due to changing climate, the nests and the environment that these birds live in has slowly been being degraded. Um, seals and sea lions have been climbing up on the beaches, crushing the nests. And so that's really where our ceramic students came in. They thought to themselves, yeah, we could build stronger nests. We could create more sustainable habitats to help these birds you know, recover and be able to breed without um, you know, being harmed in their nests. So they were able to first hand build nests. They then started exploring the digital craft lab and started 3D printing ceramic nests and actually going out with the conservation scientists and deploying the nests underground where the birds normally live to create stronger, healthier habitats for the birds. And I think all three of these examples are great ways to kind of conceptualize how you can move beyond the idea of studio as the only place where you can practice art. Because ceramicists can go out and they can help with you know, nature conservation. Painters can help connect with children in museums. There's a lot of different ways to make those connections. And at CCA, we encourage you to get out of the classroom, to get out of the studio, and start connecting with the Bay Area arts community. Another benefit of attending art and design school right in the heart of San Francisco is all the opportunities for internships. CCA hosts connections with over 700 different internships each and every year. And as you look at this list, it's just a couple of the many, many internships that we offer, you can see that a lot of them are headquartered right here in San Francisco, have offices close to our campus. And I think that proximity is really important because it means students are able to balance internships with their course load. For example, we have students in the graphic design program who are able to intern at the Adobe offices, which are right across the street from CCA. Students in the game arts program are able to make connections with Zynga a few blocks away. We have students um, doing photography internships with Airbnb. So many of the companies and organizations right here in our own neighborhood in the design district of San Francisco provide internships for students. I mentioned earlier that a vast majority of all faculty at CCA are working professionals. So I actually wanna take time to introduce you to a couple different faculty on campus so you can learn what it's like to learn from these professional artists. The first faculty member I wanna share with you is Chris Johnson. Chris is a longtime faculty member in our photography program, and he's also a working photographer. 
You can see here work from his recent Question Bridge project, in which he traveled across the country interviewing black men on issues of identity across America. This was then put together into a transmedia video and film installation that was on display in our local Oakland Museum, as well as at the Smithsonian Museum. So if you're near either of those museums, definitely check it out, or you can visit Question Bridge online to learn a little bit more about Chris's work. Jeanette Kim is another fantastic faculty member at CCA. She works in the architecture department, and she's really interested in issues of ecology, getting her students to think about the way that built environment, the way that architecture impacts a community and the lived environment. Uh, Jeanette has a strong professional resume. Um, she recently worked on the new Pinterest headquarters in her professional life, and she's able to bring those connections with the San Francisco architecture community into the classroom. As you look at different colleges of art and design, it's not only important to think about the experience you'll have as a student, but also what are you going to do when you graduate? What can your career look like after college? CCA is rated the number one art school for return on investment by the most recent pay scale ranking. So that means we take a lot of pride in helping our students prepare for successful careers when they graduate. 78% of CCA alumni are working in fields related to their major. So they're going on to successful careers as fashion designers, as illustrators, as architects. And they're able to do that in part because of the career connections made on campus. CCA has a career services office that provides a lot of different support, resume coaching, interview prep, internship findings that we talked about um, to the students. But another thing that's important to think about is what kind of companies are you able to connect with as a student? Here at CCA, the Career Services Department invites over 200 different companies to our career fair each and every year. You can see just a couple of them listed here. Um, but we also offer a social impact fair each and every year because we understand there's a lot of different pathways to become a professional artist. Maybe you want to work for a large company. Maybe you want to be a freelancer. Maybe you want to work for a smaller arts nonprofit, museum, or gallery. So we invite all of those different kinds of organizations to campus so students early on in their education can start making connections with the creative community, can start networking, and start thinking about what kind of creative career is a good fit for them. So we can talk about careers in the abstract, but I think it's really helpful to see a few examples of where CCA alums have actually gone on with their careers. A recent example is Esther Alia, who graduated in 2018. Esther studied illustration here at CCA, but as you can see with her work showing, she really expanded the definition of what illustration can mean, including paintings, including textile work, and some furniture design. And through all these different mediums, both in her time as a student at CCA and now in her work as a professional showing artist, um, Esther has been really interested in exploring the differences of the Middle Eastern diaspora, thinking about folks who stayed, thinking about folks who left their home, and the impact it's had on her own personal family and identity, as well as larger cultural and social issues. Danielle Forward graduated from CCA in our interaction design major. She then went on to a career with Facebook, where she works as a product designer doing analytics work with the connectivity department, thinking about how to help internet connectivity in rural areas around the world. In addition to her work with Facebook, she's also the founder of a nonprofit called Natives Rising, which works to help make connections and provide mentorship opportunity for young Native American students interested in tech. So by founding this nonprofit, she was able to connect with her own community and help give back while bringing the connection between her heritage and her work at Facebook. Galen Boone is another recent alum of CCA who graduated in 2018. Galen was a major in the jewelry and metal arts program at CCA. Um, and after graduating, they were a recipient of the very prestigious Windgate Fellowship. After completing that year-long Wingate Fellowship, Galen went on to be the artist in residence for 2020 at Joshua Tree National Park. So they've been exploring ideas of queerness and identity within metalwork and thinking about how that can tie into larger environmental concerns. If everything that I've shared so far is interesting and you think CCA might be a good fit school for you, the next step is to think about applying. 
We have a lot of different um, opportunities for transfer students when it comes to applying to CCA, and we're definitely a very transfer-friendly institution. Some of the benefits of transferring to an art and design school like CCA include having very specialized coursework that you might not be able to find at other kinds of institutions, as well as connections to faculty um, and creative communities that are very, very much focused in the arts. At CCA, we don't have any prerequisites to transferring, so that means you're able to transfer any time. You, if you've taken one semester at a community college or if you have a couple of years of college under your belt, either way, we'd be happy to look at your transfer application to CCA. However, there are a few ways to make it a little bit easier. So here's some coursework that we do recommend if you're planning on transferring and you're registering for classes and you wanna know that they'd actually transfer to CCA. So when it comes to transferring to CCA, we recommend students take different classes that equate to our core program. So that's intro drawing classes, uh, 2D design classes in painting, photography, those kinds of areas, three-dimensional design classes, and 4D design classes like video or animation. We also encourage prospective transfer students to think about taking writing, art history, and philosophy and critical studies to begin to um, catch up on the humanities and science coursework at CCA. As a transfer applicant to CCA, your application will include a couple of items so we can get to know you and your candidacy. First off, you'll submit an application. That can either be common application or that can be the CCA-specific online application. The application will include an essay. We do want to learn who you are, why you think CCA is a good school for you to pursue your arts education, learn a little bit more about your academic background. In order to really understand your academic background, we will also require transcripts from any and all colleges that you have attended. And if you have fewer than 30 credits of college on your college transcripts, we also would want to see your high school transcripts. We'll also ask for a letter of recommendation and we are um, really excited to see your portfolio. As a transfer applicant, your portfolio can be 15 to 20 pieces of your visual artwork. It could be any kind of visual art that you've taken. It could include paintings, sculpture, film work, um, prototypes that you've done for an industrial design course. Anything and everything that is visual art and design is welcome in the CCA portfolio. However, if you know the direction you're interested in going, if you have a major that you're hoping to apply for, it's always a good idea to include some work in your portfolio relevant to that major so we can understand, again, why you're interested in coming to study whatever it is you want to study at CCA. The other thing that you'll want to think about as you apply is financial aid. We understand that the prospect of attending private art college can be expensive. So we want to make sure you know there's plenty of resources for you as an applicant to CCA. 75% of all CCA students receive some type of financial aid. And for students, we do offer two different kinds of aid. We offer merit scholarships. These are scholarships based on the quality of your academic performance and your portfolio. So as long as you apply by the deadline, you'll automatically be considered for these scholarships. The scholarships can go up to 24,000 US dollars per year, and they're renewable your full four years at CCA. The other kind of scholarship that we offer is need-based financial aid. In order to apply for need-based financial aid, you'll need to fill out either the FAFSA, which is the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or as an undocumented student, we would recommend the California DREAM Act application. Once you've submitted either of those documents, our financial aid office will be able to put together a financial aid awards package. As you get ready to apply, here's a couple of different important dates to keep in mind. And there's also um, dates and deadlines for various National Portfolio Day events, open houses, and other things available on our website. If you've got any questions at all about CCA, we'd love to hear from you. So please don't hesitate to send us an email at admissions at cca.edu or feel free to give us a call or shoot us a text if you just have a quick question you want an answer to. But we're here in the admissions office and we'd love to chat with you about your interest in CCA or provide a portfolio review to give you a little bit more background on what it is we're looking for in the application process. Thank you so much and I hope to talk to you soon.